on beers again. Okay, you want me to start? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. um, so basically, I don't believe uh, beer scales above the likes of Goku um, based on the fact that he doesn't have any feats to support it. And, his, and the statements that Beerus has doesn't support it either. They're very, like, ambiguity, um, amb- ambiguous? Fucking stupid. Ambiguous to uh, where his strength, like, is. Then Beerus okay. also has Wait, can you other, repeat all of that? Oh, the internet is trash. Can you repeat that? Uh, I said, uh, I think Bear scales higher than Goku because of the fact that at no point uh, has Goku's power ever intimidated or shown to be uh, Beerus ever shown that his power might be a threat to him. So uh, he's never been threatened by Goku. Uh, he's also, also uh, Beerus also was able to use Ultra Instinct, which is the only way like Beerus could get come close to an upper hand, which is, uh, I mean, Goku will only come close to upper hand with Go- I mean, Beerus. Mm-hmm. Then Beerus also has, uh, well, Beerus is also omnipotent, I think. And uh, mm, Okay, wait, let's get to that. Wait, here you can do. Why do you think Beerus is omnipotent? Uh, so did you see the new chapter? Uh, oh, where he states there's no limit to my power? Yeah, so unlimited why you, power. Why do you believe that makes him like, um, why do you think that correlates like he's speaking directly to his power? Like in terms I mean, of like, what having a what limited else? amount. Why would I think it's, uh, he's referring to his power? Yeah, like in having an unlimited amount, right? Like why would he be speaking in, in that way? Oh, because... um. Wait, let me go back. Because, like, uh, you remember when Pierce is, like, fighting uh, Vegeta after he told him his planet was destroyed. And, like, he, uh, it, he's, like, uh, after he just, like, completely dog-walked Vegeta, he's, like, my mind's always on destruction and nothing else. That's why there's no limit to my power. So he's saying, like, he, like, he was trying to teach. I feel like Beerus was trying to, well, I think Beerus was, like, trying to teach Vegeta that, like, if he releases his guilt and, like, keeps his mind on destruction... That would increase his power, his ability, his ability, his got a destruction abilities, basically. Okay, so like, why would that? So uh, then, right, what you just said kind of like contradicts what what would make him like omnipotent? Because then Beerus would just be speaking about like he's not limited mentally; he could use his power to his fullest, right? Like he's not limited in any way in terms of like his mental restrictions. He doesn't have guilt. He doesn't feel bad. That he's destroying shit, and that's the conversation him and Vegeta is having. It's about like limiting yourself mentally. Which affects you physically and you know in your key and such. So I don't think like that makes him omnipotent then. It would just mean that like Beerus has no risk, he has nothing holding him back. No ties, no nothing. I mean, oh yeah, and he doesn't care where he kills. Yeah. Yeah, never, never. yeah so I wouldn't well, say like it makes him omnipotent. You get what I'm saying? Like Yeah. I, I still say that though that he scales higher because like He's able, uh, go, I mean, Beerus is able to, like, low death Vegeta, like, at any given moment. I think, I, I feel like, all right, so, like, I read black and white manga, I, and I think, but I think Vegeta's using, like, his, uh, his blue evolution when he, uh, like, got mad at uh, Beerus and started fighting him. And then, like, Beerus just still is completely above Vegeta's power. He's, uh, dodging every one of his attacks and then just, like, with one blast, got Vegeta back to base. Yeah, I think, like, the problem with that, right, is just that, like, Vegeta doesn't scale anywhere near Goku in MUI. He's not, like, at that level. He's not even, like, at the I'm tournament just... of power level of MUI because there's nothing to scale well, up to it. Why, why, why would it, he be on his uh, power if, like, the technique, the MUI technique is not buffing his strength? I don't think it buffs his strength or speed. You don't so think why MUI would... makes him faster and stronger? No, I don't. So you don't find it weird that like he goes from getting his ass booty fucked by Jiren or Moro, and then he goes to whooping their ass and giving them like significant damage? Uh, because I just I just argue because of the technique, his body is just automatically like his body was already able to do it, but like it took too much effort for Goku to think like uh, and try and predict what Jiren was gonna do. But like now that his body just does it by itself, it makes it easier for him to counter and, and dodge Jiren's attacks. 
I don't really think like that makes a lot of sense that it gives him no stat increase when like we clearly see a difference in like ability, right? Like, I, I, only, I like UI gives you auto dodge and it's basically just auto dodge, right? But it wouldn't make any sense if your ability to auto dodge made you punch harder. Like that, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. And it's not like they're saying UI is hitting like vital points in Jiren's body that's like negating durability to make it to you know to work with what you're saying. He's just hitting him. He's just hitting him hard. And Jiren's like, oh yeah. shit, this hurts. And like, and like even even Vegeta was able to like in his Super Saiyan Blue, uh, damage Jiren. So that's why I just like I I don't believe I not mean, believe I don't think that MUI is like giving him any uh stat increase. I don't I'm not seeing an increase in speed. I'm not seeing an increase in damage. I'm just seeing an increase in combat ability and as a martial martial artist. How his body is able to. Uh, even like when Moro's like about to stab him, or like again, like I feel like he holds his hand. I think he was about to put his hand through his chest again. Then like his key just goes uh, like all the way to the spot where he's about to be attacked at, and it uh -huh. automatically buffs that like his defense at that area. Then breaks his hand. So I, it's like I'm not seeing an increase of uh, any sort of power or speed from Goku. Okay, well, yeah, I, I, like, disagree with that. If we look at, like, anime and manga, we see him increasing in stats. I don't think what you provided makes sense, right? Because right, it can't I, just I'll, be, I'll like, he's always had this ability, right? Like, he's always had the power to hurt Jiren. But MUI allows him to use it, like, intelligently or something, right? But we, we don't yeah. see that. We just see him hitting I, I Jiren see, hard. I, I see, like, all right, we're not... We're not uh, even when the fight, like, Goku has the ability to do damage to Jiren. It's just, like... He can't hit him because like he's just completely outclassed when it comes to their fighting of capability. And he's now, more like a martial arts skill, right? That's what you're saying. Uh, yeah, like yeah, all around martial arts skill, like in terms of uh, yeah, because we know like even in a manga, right? Goku goes into like this uh, like pseudo Kaioken form, right? SSB Kaioken form, like pseudo, because they don't officially yeah. call it that. And he gets bodied. He gets like fucking dog washed on, and then he uses MUI and he proceeds to like whoop his ass. So, like, to say there's no stat increase, like, he's the same person with and without MUI, it just doesn't, like, it doesn't work. It doesn't make I mean, sense. All he, do all, all he does is just, like, win the fight. The only, in the, uh, I think, like, the reason why uh, I, I say that MUI doesn't give him a buff, like, a buff in any of his stats is because, like, Goku wasn't able to, like, like, Jiren wasn't letting Goku hit him. He, he was just, uh, Jiren's, like, trying harder to, uh, no, Basically. Jiren did it, definitely let Goku hit him. Like, Jiren and, and was Super actually, Sam like, hit Blue? by Goku. And Super he was Saiyan hit. Blue Kyle Ken? He was hit. Like, no, if we go into anime, I don't think... Yeah, Goku wins the Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken and still loses. If we look at the anime, he uses uh, it. No, I'm body. saying, like... I'm saying, like, Jiren's, like, trying way harder than he was against, like... Uh, like all right, so, like, when the fight first, when the fight first starts, Goku ramps up to Super Saiyan. Can't damage him. But Super Saiyan 2 can't damage him. God form. Jiren needs a finger to dodge all his punches. Then he ramps up to Super Saiyan Blue. Then Jiren's like, all right, I can't let him. Uh, it's basically showing that I can't let him hit, hit me anymore. Because I like. I, I disbelieve. I, you were talking about in the anime or in the manga? Because I know we're talking about both. I'm just making sure. So I understand. It's, like, it's, it's both. I'm using both, really. Yeah, okay. Well, like referring to the anime, we literally see him use Super Saiyan Blue Kyle can and get dog watered on. And he's like yeah, hitting, he's hitting it, Jiren. It, it, That's what I'm trying to say. Like he's punching Jiren, he's attacking Jiren, and Jiren's nullifying his attacks. In the anime, he redirects the spirit ball, right? And throws it back at Goku, which would have to take some stat. He couldn't just like it's not just martial arts skill, it's like literal power over Goku to throw a spirit bomb back at the nigga <laughs> and be like, you're not even worth my time. So logically, UI Omen, MUI, they have to increase his stats with the combined added effect of you know, allowing him to dodge without thinking and such. I, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm just not seeing. Because wait, I'll, I can show you, right? I'll, I can give you an example. Give I'm going to show you um him like punching I'll give Jiren. you strength. I, I, I'll give you strength. I, I can agree to strength, but I just, I just don't see speed. Wow. Why would it not be? So you understand, like, if your key goes up, your speed and power goes up. Because, like, the oh, Vegas State System Dynamic Saga. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so, so like, it would be all stats. Because then, like, it just doesn't make sense why Goku, who's like, wait, I'm about to show you, like, him punching him and shit. And it, like, doing nothing. And then later on, MUI, but, like, they're like, oh, shit. Jerry may fucking lose. He's getting, like, bitched on. So, like, I, like, it just doesn't make any sense to say he gets nothing. Like, no stat increase. He's the same power as before. Nothing. <laughs> So, yeah, you. I, I say you're right that he does get his stats amplified. But uh, 
I so yeah, like we know like MUI is an amp, right? MUI Omen, those are both amps. They amp his stats and give him the added bonus of dodging. And we know that Jiren in the manga scales to this level of like uh, above the gods of destruction as noted by like the data book in the manga. This is specifically pertaining to the manga where I'm speaking up here. Yeah. I, so they have like, like Goku's over himself, him. So that, yeah, yeah. If Goku's like over him, and they're talking about all the gods of destruction because he used plural, I'm gonna send it to. They say like gods of destruction. So they're referring to like all the gods of destruction. And Goku will logic he'll be over Jiren at this point because he whoops his ass in you. Like, the only reason he loses is because of stamina drain in both like the anime and manga. And you know, like in um the more arc, he has full control of it now. And arguably is like arguably more than likely greater than those uh previous iterations of the form. So like Beerus has no statements, and the only person he beat is Vegeta, who's not even MUI level. Neither, like there's no scaling to put him at Terminal Power MUI, and there's no scaling to put him at um Moral Arc MUI. So he just like it doesn't affect Goku scaling. It only just means Vegeta isn't there. Vegeta isn't touching these individuals. Uh, wait. Wait, let me send that scan too before I forget. So uh, how how much stronger would you say uh Angelic attendants are compared to gods of destructions? Uh I I have zero clue. Cool. I don't know like how quantifiable yeah. um it is. Uh, I would just like assume they're stronger because like we see like him one shot beers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's like what I'll say on that. I mean, like, I, I just don't see. I mean, uh, uh, I haven't seen Goku proving the scale above Beerus. I mean, like, Beer, I, I feel like because like Beerus has been shown to like show some form of being threatened or a fear to people who are stronger than. Him. Well, if he, we like, look at the show, anime, he's literally like scared of Jiren. Like he's like he's like oh shit, this dude's like fucking impressive. Can, can I see that scan? Yeah, I got you. Give me one second. I, I, I think it's only because, like, still, Beerus is scared that if Jiren beats his fighter, uh, his universe fighters, he knows he's going to get a race, and they don't know that uh, Zeno was going to bring them all back. Well, yeah, I mean, there's like, obviously ways to, like, interpret it, right? You can say, like, he's afraid of, like, for Goku's sake, but just the fact that he never shows any fear of anyone in any capacity, but he's, like, fucking sweating when looking at Jiren, it would have to logically mean that Jiren's, like, impressive to, like, Beerus. He has to find, Jiren, like, Jiren, like, kind of, like, intimidating and to some capacity. I, I would say, uh, I wouldn't say to to uh, his own power though. He doesn't. Let me see. Uh, you sure? Because literally, what, what, like, if we look at the scene, right? He's like, "Is this really the energy from just one warrior?" And he's fucking sweating, right? So what, we can say what, it's what a combined interpretation, right? He could be afraid for Goku's sake, but he also could be saying, "This nigga strong as fuck. <laughs> this dude is intimidating." And I, I'll say that's because, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's realizing he's strong. Yeah, like he's on God of Destruction level. But I, it's been proven that, like, Beerus is stronger than Belmont, their God of Destruction. Based off what? Because he uses UI? That would just account for a hax. No, it's because, it's because like, uh, I forgot where it was, but, like, the two strongest Gods of Destruction uh, Destructions were, like, Beerus and that rat thing or something like that. Are they going by the anime? Because in anime, they say he loses to, like, uh, he loses, what, to Belmont or the rat dude in an arm wrestling contest? Uh, the rat dude, I think. Yeah, yeah. he loses to the rat dude. And yeah, Belmont, but like, even then, right, Beerus but, states that that doesn't correlate to, like, a fight. He doesn't get why that correlates. Because, like, all right, so, like, if, if they're in a battle royale and, like, like type of fight, and, like, they're all, all the gods of destructions are going all out, and then and then you just see, all right, if you look, uh, I forgot where it was, but, like, let me get the scan. They're fighting, and then, like, Belmont's, like, one of the first persons knocked out, and then Beerus is still fighting to the end. So, which means you, it would have to mean that he's above Belmont. When does he because... knock out Belmont in the manga? You said what? When is he? I don't recall him knocking out Belmont. No, in the I didn't manga. say. Uh, I said Belmont was just like knocked out. Like, he couldn't compete with the uh, rest of them. I don't recall that. I remember like them all fighting. They were like all in it together. I don't recall like the... Belmont getting like dog watered on. I don't. I think like. Wait. My God, I have so many scans. All right, here it is. I think it's like uh, where they all go to the Grand Priest Palace or whatever, and then they set it up. Then everybody's saying they're going straight for beers. And then Like he tricks all the other, yeah, and then Beerus like outsmarts all the other gods of destructions. 
Yeah, like outsmarting doesn't mean like you're stronger than him. We even see like in the fight, like he's struggling Wait. against like Rav, uh, whatever the fuck Rav Tilia is, the rat dude. No, he's yeah, just yeah. struggling against the yeah. gods generally. My fault. Correction. He's struggling he against like he the god he's fighting. Did he, he was only he only really his only real comp was like uh, Rat Tiller or something. Yeah, like but like that's fine, right? Because if they're relative or equal to one another, right? Because they're both pressing each other, or just the fact that in the scene I'm sending in scans, Beerus is struggling against another god that's not even like the Rat dude. Right, Where, so then we, then we now have. I just sent it. It's in like the first one. It should be like on the top or bottom. We're like you see, uh, Raftilia fighting oh, his dude. Beer is fighting his dude, and we see him visibly injured. So you know that Beerus is struggling. Like he's having some difficulty dealing with these gods. But so we like know they have to at least be wait. relative to one another, if not just equal. I'll, I'll give you that they're relative, but Beerus would still have to be above them. Well, be Beerus like, couldn't be above them if he's struggling with, like, the weaker gods, right? If, if we're establishing, like... No, in the mod, I think Belmont's stronger than him. Wait, 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 Belmont's hold on. I'm um, sorry to interfere, but Grand Prix, bro, um, admin, I mean, it's not letting me mute this guy. Can you mute him? Who? And freaking violent, bro. It's so annoying. He's uh, harassing... Bert, he's harassing uh, um, Narasha to give him... Um, give her his... Her Insta. Oh, uh, I got you. Bro, it's not letting me mute. Mute board. Do I have to state reason, right? Do I have to get muted? All right, uh, what, what was I saying before? Oh, uh, uh, we was talking about, like, the gods being relative to one another. Oh, all right, so... If... If they're relative to each other, still... Beerus would... Uh, is not, like... All right, yeah. All right, so I'll move past that point, and I'll just agree that there's all... All the gods are somewhat relative to each other. Okay, and since, like, we have no proof that Beerus scales above these gods, right? And even, like, we take uh the Rats nigga statement, he's like, uh... I assumed you would be the last one standing anyway, right? So we can, like, use this to make some type of um, interpretation that Beerus would have to scale above the rest of the gods, excluding the rat dude. The rat dude and Beerus would have to be on some relative level. Yeah. For him to, they, for him to feel to like be Beerus would be the one to beat him, right? Or be the one there. So we can say that. And then we know that Jiren's just stated to be the strongest, like, the uh, strongest mortal of all the gods. Let me find that, too. Give me one second. Who, Beerus? No, not Beerus. Pfft, I meant Jiren. I mean, Jiren, my fault. Oh, Jiren was stronger than... Uh, yeah, Jiren was stronger than his god of destruction, but he just didn't... Oh, no, not the, not his god. In the manga, right, uh, it's a data book statement. Just give me one second. I'm about to find it. All right. They, like, flat out state that he's, like, stronger than the entirety of all of them. Like, gods of destructions. I don't know what the fuck happened to my shit, but... You know how that goes. Let me just scroll over a bit. I got, like, in one of these. I, uh, I mean, like, I got, like, thousands of screenshots, like, uh, basically from my... Manga scales. Like, when I got to find the scale, I have to scroll all the way up. It takes me so long. People think I'm, like, looking stuff up on Google. That's why I need to get a computer. Yeah. Buy a new one. My other ones are all broke. Can't even stream off them. Jeez. I bought... I fucking just recently bought me... Well, not... I guess not too recently. But... Uh, it's been, like, pretty recent. I bought this laptop because I wanted to do YouTube stuff. But yeah, here go like um a close up of the scan I'm talking about in the manga where they refer to Jiren as like the strongest mortal, um the strongest man in universe in the uni in universe, fourteen yeah eleven said to have the power that exceeds even the gods of destruction and it's saying like plural. Oh yeah, all right. So, so we know it's not just talking about like Belmont. It have to be talking about all the gods. No, I would I would disagree that it would say have to be talking about all of them. Okay, well I like I would disagree with that because it says plural. Right, it's saying gods, gods, but not gods, like God. Can, it it can range from anywhere to two to all twelve. Then why not specify that? That's what I'm saying, right? You're making an assumption. You're saying like, oh, it can mean like two of the gods or three of the gods. But the issue is, it's saying just gods of destruction. It's giving a flat out statement. There's no like room to interpret it. It's just flat out what it's saying. It's no hint that it's talking about like two gods, three gods, four gods. Just every nigga excluding Beerus. It's more it's more safe to say it's saying every god. It's saying like every nigga there, all the niggas that have the title God of Destruction, Jiren is at this level above them. So I guess we can move on and say like 
They so will like, all be relevant with, too. with that, right? With that, what I'm saying is if MUI is greater than Jiren, and then we have like it being flat out stated that Moro 7 3 is greater than the likes of Jiren, etc., right? We're now, we're of course, I'm not saying like his statement talking about Beerus in that instance, right, would be fair because he doesn't know Beerus' full power, even though in the manga we see like all he sees all the gods fight. So we can't say he has some, um, like inclination of like Goku. Wait. He's like watching uh-huh. Beerus fight. That's what I'm saying. But like it's it's fine regardless. The point is is that Jiren scales above Beerus. Goku sees set moral seven three as greater than the likes of Jiren. So logically he would then just upscale more above where Beerus is. Beerus has like no statements, no scaling to put him above uh the likes of like Jiren and etc. Nothing's like saving him from these data book statements or like nothing's an anti feat, right? Because there's no scaling for Vegeta to make him greater than the Jiren that fall MUI there's nothing to make him moral 7-3 level. So now we just have, like, this Vegeta... Wait, I love Vegeta. He's my nigga. But he has shit scaling. And no statements to show, like, he's anywhere where, like, Beerus beating him would mean something great for Beerus' scaling I mean, as but a wouldn't, character. Wouldn't... Wouldn't... Would uh, what's his name? Uh, Vegeta scale somewhere relative to either UI... Or like uh, he he would have to scale it somewhere relative to UI based off his fight with Moro. Okay, so like say if we go with that, right? We know his fight with Moro. Moro only is greater than UI Omen. The problem is we have no clue if the UI Omen that fights Moro is stronger than the one that fought Jiren, or even stronger than the MUI that fought Jiren. Right? No matter what, there's no there's nothing for it. We can only assume. But the thing is, is in a debate, assume, you don't make right, any assumptions. Assume basis. that. Wait. Assume that uh, his UI has gotten stronger. Yeah, like, we would have to be assuming that his UI has got stronger than these levels of UI that we've seen previously. Or that his UI... I mean, would it, would right? it, would, wouldn't it be implied? Based on what? Uh, Alright, so when, uh, for example, when Goku first goes Super Saiyan, his power level is like 150 million, then he trains and then masters it, and then that makes, and his power like scales far above it. Yeah, but we have, but here's the thing, right? Man. You're on to something, I'm but fucking when, with that. But the thing is, is Moro, you have, like, it's no quantifiable scaling for where he is before becoming set Moro 7-3. There's, like, nothing. We just know he's greater than UI Omen. But Jiren was greater than UI Omen. So wait, it makes Moro wait. better. Moro 7-3, you're talking about, like, when he fused with that. Yeah, I'm talking about when he fused with Android. That's why I'm, like, separating him. When I'm saying, like, I say, like, young Moro, right? We're, of course, not talking about old Moro. Throw that nigga to the trash. Young Moro is above UI, doesn't he? Yeah, young Moro is, um, he's, UI Omen at the time had the stamina issue, remember? So that's why, like, specifically Goku lost. But I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure, like, Moral Flat Out states you can't beat me. So we're just gonna say like he's yeah. stronger. That's fine but, too. But so is Jiren. Let's see, because I have to fight. He was like, yeah, I remember. I think I remember what you talking about too. Where he's like, your power is not gonna be enough to like defeat me. Or if this is all yeah, you got, like, you can't do anything. So I'm fine with like saying that Moral uh, is greater than UI Omen. Like it doesn't change much. That's like the that's like the issue with like scaling and super. Yeah, because like, he was just like, but like then it just leads to the issue, which I'm saying is like, so is Jiren. Jiren's greater than UI Omen, and he was arguably like he's arguably greater than the MUI in the tournament of power because he flat out won the fight. Uh, are, are we talking anime or manga? Well, Mongo. Oh I'm yeah, drinking water. Manga. Because <laughs> yeah, like uh, when it, it was running out, like it was taking his body, like str- it was straining his body to dodge. Yeah, on, it's, uh, it's the same issue like within the anime. The reason why I'm saying like in the manga, he's just flat out shown to like be at least equal. If you don't want to say greater, um, the reason why I'm saying like greater is because we. I'm gonna show it to where I'm talking, so you know what I'm talking about. But basically, we just like saying like, oh, he's adapting to MUI. So now this is like a battle of attrition. Who's gonna lose stamina first? Jiren or MUI, and then it like Goku gets fucking thrown to Vegeta. So they're like Jiren would have to be greater than what MUI was throwing at him at the time. If not, if you want to say like relative by like a high amount or a little amount, that's fine too. I, I would say that uh, that uh, when we're talking about referring to when MUI turn of how power MUI was getting beaten by Jiren. Yeah, like when was he's like that, actually like reacting like to his, his attacks and etc. And you're referring to the manga, correct? I'm referring to the manga on this statement. I'm not yeah. talking about the anime. The anime, I would just say like Jiren's like relative. It, it he would be somewhere relative to it. Goku would still be above, but they'd be yeah. relative. But in the manga, I would say like it's more um Jiren has like a more impressive showing that he's not like getting bitched out by MUI. 
because he's able to react and tank the attacks and then like punch back Goku. Yeah, I'm gonna send like everything I'm talking about so you know what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, give me one second. You can keep talking though while you um you can like keep explaining your thing so we don't have just silence. <laughs> then like all right, yeah, so like I, I remember what you're talking about. It's like uh Weiss was explaining, saying that Jiren's potential is immeasurable. He's countering faster now through sheer determination. But when Goku's yep. body reacts, it takes quite a toll on him. Yeah, then like he then goes to say, like, okay, well, this is a battle like of attrition, right? Whoever can last yeah. the longest is the one who's gonna win, and Jiren ends up winning. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I say you can interpret it as Jiren being greater or Jiren just being relative on a high scale due to maybe like better stamina, right? Either way. But the point is just that, like, we have these data book statements saying that Jiren is greater than the gods of destructions. Nothing contradicts it. And then we have MUI whooping his ass. And then we have Moral 73 being stated to be greater than that Jiren and MUI whooping his ass. So then we just have like a lot of statements to back up that Goku is greater than Beerus. While Beerus doesn't have anything, we have like an assumption, you know, like, okay, well, you know, Akira says he's supposed to be like the final villain, the, you know, the, the top of like the fucking totem pole for who Goku's supposed to fight. But then it's all these other villains who they keep hyping up over Beerus. They're like, oh, Broly, greater than Beerus. Jiren, greater than Beerus. Like every nigga at this point has been greater than Beerus. <laughs> and it's like, it's hard. It's like- like, yeah, it's not like a lot for Beerus. That's what I'm saying, right? If I was to say, like, narratively, do I believe Beerus is stronger and logically would it make more sense to say he's stronger? Of course, right? That's yeah, fine uh, with me, right? But I think what's yeah. given, right, what, what, what we're given, like, in terms of statements, showings of yeah. power, and et cetera, Beerus does not like, have it. You know what I mean? And you can't go yeah, into a like, debate being like, oh, well, Akira said this. Like, Akira says a lot of shit and he fucking forgets it. And, and he's not, of course, supporting it. You need to, like, support what you're saying in some aspect to let us know that, like, you're not just talking out of your ass and saying whatever. Like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why it gets difficult to scale Beerus above Goku. Like, logically, people think that Beerus, like, would be stronger because, like, from the narrative standpoint, from the point of the plot, you'd have to, like, you, when you look into it. But, like, now when you get down to scaling statements, like, in feats, you don't get enough feats from Beerus. Yeah, so... Scaling wise, Goku would scale. I can see that Goku would scale above Beerus. Yeah, 